Hey everyone, it's Dylan. I am just here out front of our store right now getting ready to actually film another shop tour. So we've done a video already like this in the past where we gave you guys a tour of our shop, but a lot has changed in our shop and we also have a lot of new subscribers and we started noticing some comments of people who actually wanted to see the shop. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, we're located in Calgary, Alberta, Canada and we're just off Blackfoot Trail and Heritage Drive. So it's nice and snowy right now, just like you'd expect in Canada, but I'll take you guys inside and we'll show you around the store. So this is the, the front retail space. We kind of have two sections of our business. We have the front retail space and then we have the back manufacturing shop. So this is where, if you guys were to visit our shop, this is what you'd see when you'd come here. So we have, we carry over 130 different species of wood. Uh, most of this to my right over here, this is all of our domestic woods. Uh, I'll take you through that and show you this, and then to my left, the other first thing you'll see is all of our finishes. So, one big change before I show you all the wood we have is our front desk here. So, previously in the past, our front desk, you can actually see the outline on the floor because we haven't painted yet. This is where the front desk used to be. It kind of wrapped around like this and we would have our staff stand back here. But now we've rotated the front desk, we put it here. Um, most of this was done by Brad, actually he kind of led the way on changing all of this and going about building the things. He built this unit down here. So this is all nice curly maple drawers for our storage. We've got turning tools, router bits, lots of different stuff in there. So just more storage to have out front here and it just makes it easier for our customers to line up. Um, looking over here, here's some of our wood selection we have. So again, this is mostly all domestic woods through here. Uh, poplar, oak, ash, Maple, cherry, walnut, basswood, uh, cedar, mahogany. That's not domestic, but that's in here too. Um, coming around here, this is sort of like our walnut and cherry section. So we've got walnut charcuterie, walnut live edge, walnut straight edge, we've got cherry. Lots of different pieces, all different sizes too, because a lot of our customers who come in are hobbyists and they're just kind of, they're often looking for that really small or really specific piece. Um, we have all little like carving blocks here. So this is all Clara Walnut Burl we harvested a long time ago. Very nice figure and grain in there. They're just nice little chunks like this is like 26 bucks. Someone can get a nice piece of burl. Um, this is some of our larger live edge selection here. Most of this is walnut. I think there's a few slabs of willow and ash in there as well. This is probably our most popular wood product that we sell right now to our customers is these live edge charcuterie stocks. So it's one inch thick material. It's already sanded on two surfaces. Basically all you would have to do is remove the bark, clean up the sanded surface a bit more with like an orbital sander by hand, and then you could just oil them. So we sell them in full lengths like this, and then over here we sell them pre-cut. So if you don't need that full bore, uh, we also sell these online. You can find these. You can just buy a nice little small one. Like this is what, 22 bucks. You can get this nicely sanded, ready to go. We also have some maple ones. So these are like 20 bucks here. Just a nice little board. All you got to do is debark it. More, more geared towards the DIY. And then mentioning the do-it-yourself uh, community kind of, one thing that we've came up recently is our own brand of resin. So you guys are familiar seeing our big resin pours that we do, but you may not know that it's, it's all done with our own specific brand. So I'll take you over here to where we've got the product. So here you go, you got the Black Forest Deep. Uh, it's a two to one ratio, and this is what we use for all of our thick pours. So this product, uh, if you aren't cooling it, like I've talked about in previous videos, cooling the resin makes a big difference. If you're not cooling this product, you can go to two inches. Uh, we've done cooling and we've taken it all the way up to six inches. So we're, we're quite happy with it. Price-wise, it's nearly identical to other products on the market. Uh, it's even cheaper than some. Our, that goes for the deep. And then our coating products, which is the high temp, our coat, and we also have art, which we're currently sold out of. Those are significantly cheaper than a lot of the other com competing products. So we're quite proud to have this out there. Um, our resins also, as you can see, they have an ASTM non-toxic certification on there. One of the few brands in North America that actually has that. So it's just much more friendly to the user when you're working with the product. One last thing I'll show you guys out front is just our exotic selection and then I'll take you in the back shop. So this is part of our exotic selection here. We've got Chitoba, Tigerwood, Anagre, Wenge, Bubinga, Lacewood, Shedua. There's a whole bunch of different stuff here. 
Uh, we really try to have a good variety because a lot of our a lot of our customers they're just kind of wood connoisseurs. They want to try everything, so we have as much as we can. Um, this is all exotics, and then we've got one more section. Uh, we have some Iroko here that's similar to tea, and then in this corner, this is sort of our last section of exotics. We have zebra wood, uh, nogal, so this is also called Peruvian walnut, arariba. Um, Black Limba. This has been a good mover. This is a new species for us, the Black Limba. It's been going good. Uh, what is this even? Oh, Macassar Ebony here. I don't even know what this is. It's so new. I actually am not sure yet. Um, again, Zebra, some Rosewood, some Zero Cody. So let's head on into the back shop and I'll show you how we actually build with all this stuff. So we're in the back shop now. This is our milling area. We've got a few main tools back here. We have a radial arm saw, uh, our saw stop table saw, which is actually, we, we've just became saw stop dealers. I'll show you our, our tool room at the end where we have our display unit set up. We, we use this for all of our classes, all of our milling. In a previous video, we actually did the hot dog test that you guys have probably seen online before for the saw stop, so you can go watch that if you want. But we tested it, they do work, stops the blade, didn't even cut the hot dog. So that was, that was very cool to see. This is something I want to mention. This is our $50 cart. So you can see it's just a bunch of sort of oddly shaped off cuts. Some of them are quite nice, like there's some figured walnut. And what we do is we fill this whole box up to the top and we'll sell it for 50 bucks to anyone who comes in our store. So it's it's almost too good of a deal. We keep saying we should raise the price, but as of right now, it's still the $50 card. Then we've got our, our big power magic jointer and our two planers. So this is if we're building doors, all of the milling happens through here. And then after it's been milled on these machines, we head over to the CNC here. This is our BSE Rover CNC machine. So this is designed to do a lot more of the fine joinery. Uh, so the door components need a lot of this. We need the, the horizontal dowels to be drilled. We need the, the actual door profiles for the pieces of wood to join. So all that gets done on here. And then for any big slab flattening, that happens on our Avid CNC. So we love these CNC machines, you know, for the price and with the size of machine you get, we don't think you can beat what Avid offers. Uh, we've done 20 foot tables on here, like five feet wide, and there really wouldn't have been no other way to do it without this big machine. So that, we use this like almost every day. This is our large uh, three drum sander. So we'll just pop the door here and you can see what it looks like inside. So using this, we can sand a table from 120 to 180 grit in a single pass. Uh, so 120, 150, 180, send it through, a couple passes, and it saves a lot of that actual hand sanding time. Right here in front of me, these are the pieces that we're working on for the Marriott. So this is going to be the handicap desk that we've been talking about, the smaller oval one. This is going to be the main desk uh, in their lobby. So again, figured Clara Walnut. This is actually a tinted black resin, so when it's polished up, it will be slightly see-through. Uh, these ones we got to probably ship out next week or the week after, so we got to get going on them, but they're, they're going to be some very nice pieces. This here is a solid maple door unit that we're working on, so I believe Ben almost has this thing completely sanded up. We're going to be staining it. I think the client just has to come pick the color. But we take this, I believe, to 180 grit with the sander, then we hand sand with 220 just to get rid of those uh, orbital scratches and then we'll apply like three or four coats of the oil on there to protect it. Now we're back out in the front store in the tool room here. I just want to show everyone our saw sauce top display. Uh, we're not done yet. We're still going to put some more pieces in here, but this is just our first saw. I believe this is their professional. Yeah, this is the 1.75 horsepower professional cabinet saw. This one actually has the router table attachment on it that saw stop offers. Uh, a lot of people have really been interested in this when they came in and looked at it. You can see it's got a nice micro adjustment on there too. We haven't actually got to use this yet, but we're probably gonna set one up for ourselves just because it's it looks like such a sweet setup. Now we're into the finishing area here. So this is where Ben does a lot of the finishing and oiling on all the tables. Um, here's a sneak peek of one under here. He's got covered up. Clara Walnut River transparent black resin. This one I believe is going to British Columbia here in Canada. Almost ready to ship. Uh, we have this just nice simple live edge piece, black walnut. This one has zero epoxy. The client didn't want any, so we left all of the cracks completely open and just kind of soften them. It's kind of a nice look actually, I dig it. This piece here in front of me, this is again a little different than what we usually do. This is just laminated cherry and wenge. Uh, it's just gonna be a small little dining table. This piece here is JB Smooth's dining table. Yes, it is still here. Uh, 
He's not quite ready for it yet, so we're just storing it for him. And then when the house is ready, we're going to fly down and deliver this. Um, these pieces, these are kind of neat. We made these, Sagar and I made these in last weekend's wall art class. So again, if you guys weren't aware, we do teach a lot of courses here in our business. So students can come in and they basically get to learn from us the full process of making one of these. So we again, we did this piece and we did that piece right there. So if you are interested in courses and you're in Calgary, uh, check out our website. Even if you're not in Calgary, we've actually, I think our farthest student was Brazil. Someone flew in and they stayed in Calgary. So why don't you come on down? All right, so this is the pour room. Not a lot going on in here right now because we just demolded the Marriott pieces. This is where they were. So we used just the tuck tape and MDF for our frames. Um, we did the pours in here. Again, this whole room is air conditioned. We've went through in previous videos, if you want to go watch like sort of why this room is set up the way it is and why we have the aluminum tables because it's, it's having this room that actually allows us to do those really, really thick pours. Um, but that's, that's about it. That's an updated shop tour. The biggest thing we've changed is obviously our front store, um, but we just keep getting busier and busier as well. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you may have already known that we're hiring someone right now. So for those of you watching in Calgary, drop your resume off. We are looking for a new person back here in our shop. But thank you guys for watching this shop tour. And since it's the new year, let us know what kind of videos you want to see this year. If you want more how-tos, more vlogs, more things like this. I don't know. Let me know. See you guys next week. Actually, one correction to make, you guys will be seeing this video on Monday, so I will see you this Friday. Um, have a good week, you guys. We'll see you on Friday.